friends. How's everybody doing? All right. I'm all prepped up. I did loads of cuticle work, filing, etc., etc., etc. You guys, it's so irritating because this hand, I can do it in like five minutes or less. And this one takes me like a half hour and I never feel like I did a very good job on getting my cuticles done and stuff. Uh, anyway, non-dominant hand problems. All right, I am using Clover the Top. This is from last year. Um, and I had saved just rainbows. Oh, excuse me. Oh, just the rainbows to use. And I had a partial from last year, so I'm using that up. Trying to stick with my use my partials. And this is the Starfall um, accent pack from the Halloween DIY kit. And again, I had a partial, so I stuck with it. And now, honestly, I took this out just in case I didn't have enough. And even though I could have used one of these, like I would have liked one of these, <laughs> I, I decided I was okay without it and kind of revamped my plan a little bit um, using what I had. So, you know what? Good job, Stacy. Um, I've got this little punch out, which is a pot of gold. But I do cut the gold off the top um, just so I can just have the pot. And then I have gold foil out. You guys, we're like in it to win it with the foil right now. Okay, so I am going to try and use all my world's best scissor skills today. <laughs> I don't know if there's really any best scissor skills, but we're going to try to use them. And I'm cutting the gold off this little rainbow ribbon, but just on one side. And then, oh, I forgot these were sheer. Yeah. And I used them last year too. I should have remembered, but I didn't. Too late now. Too late now. And I'm going to have a little cutie pie slanted rainbow with the gold above it. So you guys, I don't tend to go all in for St. Patrick's Day. And it's, n it's not because I'm not Irish. <laughs> It's just because I feel trapped by the green, okay? And, like, I like green. You guys know I like green. Um, I just end up feeling trapped by the green, so I don't go all in by it. I don't know. There it is. And I ordered loads of the St. Patrick's Day sets because I stinking loved them. Um, but I have other uses in mind that I think are going to be super cute. And maybe we'll give you that feeling like I'm always and, and and this could just be me but I'm always super excited if I can use a holiday set year-round like and I'm not talking about just you know a solid color set but like a holiday print set man if it's subtle to where I can use it I mean look how adorable that is you guys if it's subtle to where I can use it the whole year, I love that. I really love that. So, anyway. So, I will be using um, a bunch more of the St. Patrick's Day sets. Even over, well, once we're out of March. Because, honestly, there's stuff I have to open, you guys. So, basically, when spring hits... I mean, and I know that we think spring and March, but I will tell you guys, I have snow banks at the end of my driveway right now and basically all around my whole everything that are like probably six feet tall or more. So it's, an, I'm not feeling spring quite yet, not quite yet, but I know I will eventually. I know I want to start springing it up eventually. So. But for now. 
Not quite yet. All right, you guys, it's four o'clock in the morning. I slept a ton today. Like, I say a ton, and you guys are like, oh good, you slept, you know, five hours or whatever. No, I think I slept closer to like 10 hours. <laughs> but I do feel pretty good. I've got just a little hair of a you know, like the stuffy nose congestion stuff left. But I didn't even have to take cold meds today. I honestly, when I woke up, now listen, this is an example of how my day went. When I woke up at 10 p.m., <laughs> 10 p.m. this evening, I was just like, OMG, I feel like a new human, finally. Like, I'm finally feeling good. So, took advantage, you know? And I don't care that I stay up all night and I'm just getting stuff done and I gotta get ahead on my nails so I'm ready for the ruckus. I see this is bare over here. If you guys see it and you're like, Stacy, are you leaving that? I'm not gonna leave it, but I need a little gold to cover it. So. All right, now these guys. Okay, I'm gonna try to be doubly tricky. And cut out the bottom. Make our cute little tip. That was actually a pretty fair cut. I don't always have greatest, the greatest. Um, you know, when you're cutting something rounded, you guys, it's hard not to like, kind of stop part way through and you know you just end up messing it up it's just easy to mess up that's all oh that's cute okay let's clean edges in this I would give credit to somebody on this but I literally think that everybody who ordered this last year that is a fan of like tips and negative space this is what they saw because you see it everywhere same with this you see this everywhere so it's not like if you haven't seen it and you're like oh great idea Stacy it was literally it was so it was so everywhere last year and I see it popping up again this year so you know Sometimes us nail girls all have the same vision. Actually, I think more than, more often than not, we see a set and all kind of get the same idea for it. Especially if you're someone that likes to do nail art stuff, you know, you rarely see it as just a plain old set. There. We doctored it. Doctored. Oh my gosh, it's really cute. <laughs> All right, now let's go the other way with this. I have my close up spectacles on so that I don't have to put my whole head under the camera, you guys. And this one's not going to get very much of the rainbow. <laughs> Sorry, a little broken now. It's okay. I don't know. Are you a Vix lover? I feel like a like Vix is a very um, nostalgic for me. The smell of it. I freaking love it. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so cute. Um... I love it. I love it even if I'm not sick. <laughs> I really do. Okay, anyway, um, they have Vicks flavored. <laughs> Don't eat them. Vicks flavored bath salts I've been using like crazy. And I might have mentioned it in my last video. 
but I'm down to only one serving in my container. When I took my bath tonight, I was like, oh no, I might want Vicks bath salts year round. No, actually they would not be cost efficient. I mean, not for as much as I like to bath. Okay, now this one, let's see how we do you guys. And then we'll go back and get artsy. Because I thought this would be so cute. I'm trying to be gentle here because I feel like these guys are very sticky today. And they were from last year, so it's not like um, they haven't had time. <laughs> To go to crap on me. They could have went to crap if they wanted, but they didn't do it. They stayed nice, stacked up tight, sealed up. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Good call, Stacy. Good call. And like, I perfectly used what was left, you know, what I had saved from last year perfectly used it. Oh, I love that. That's adorable as the V. Love it. Okay. Whoop. Get in there, bugger. So now that I'm not on my deathbed anymore. No, really, that's way dramatic. Listen, you guys, I am that person. Like, if I say to you, um, I've got a headache, or I've got a cold, or whatever, you at no point ever need to say, did you take something for it? Because I am the most take something for it human there is. I at no point in my life I just never want to feel crappy right like I've still even if I feel crappy I still have to be mom I still have to be as kind as I can be to humans and I can't do that if I don't feel good so the minute something's coming on girl I take everything and I am also that person that carries absolutely every medication from the pharmacy in my purse. I really do. So anyway, um, I just kept myself medicated and slept. And I know that that is not an option everybody can do. I do understand that. But I was grateful this week that literally if I was awake, I would have like, um, you know, some oranges like this kind of these little baby cuties. There's a whole, there's a bunch of them. You guys, I've ate a million of them because I, uh, the research I did says vitamin C actually isn't going to do anything. Um, but it's also not going to hurt. So. I don't know. I just associate it with having a cold. So Vicks <laughs> and oranges. And also, you know, when your nose is stuffy and you can't taste things very well, it's nice to have something like that has a sharp taste. So, and luckily that didn't last long because otherwise I was living on cold meds, oranges, bananas. Oh my gosh, I love that. And I actually, I didn't realize I put this one down so far, but I love that um, the ones up higher and the ones down lower. And I don't love this bit on my finger. Get off there. Ah, oh, lordy. Okay, so anyway. Um, Vic smells amazing to me. And I've been using it like crazy pants. I'm going to cut two of these out because we're doing them on our ring fingers. Ugh. 
one. The funniest part to me of this punch is that it has tiny little legs. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. Ugh. Crap. What other... Oh, crap. I cut his legs off. What other rainbows do I have open that I could use to make a little rainbow over my pot of gold? I didn't cut that one very good, but I actually think it'll work once I cut off the top. Yeah, it will. Okay, let me flip those over. Hang on a second. Let's see. So I got another. So I got something else with a rainbow. In my um rainbow in my partials. I have clover. I wonder, are these small enough to fit on my pointer? Oh, it might be cutting it. Well, maybe not. Hang on. Because I also have, hang on, I have an idea. I have the partial um, that went with the rainbows from last year this guy the clover and I could do one finger of clover if I can fit this little guy maybe once I cut off his gold at the top he'll fit there oh he will girl he will okay and I want him right Perfect. Look at those little legs. So funny. Okay, you get in there and this. And we'll cut this little gold off. It's gonna be it's gonna be close over here because that nail's already short. But I think we'll make it work. No, don't fall. Oh, yeah. Super cute. Okay. Plenty of room. And then that means we can use one of these on that finger. Because that'll be a fun little accent. I turn my melter back on real quick. I'm like I see one of these. Well, let's see. I just grabbed one of my little pockets to put this in. See, sometimes we gotta do things on a bit of a whim, but it works out. I'm not writing the name of the set on there, because now I can't think of it even though I just said it. It's up here. Clover the top. I mean, honestly, it's just clover, so I don't care. I don't care. And then the last bit we'll do is um, we'll foil it. Oh yeah, that's cute. I haven't been lining that up very 
good. I don't know. I swear I go through. Um, cycles of it. But that's pretty. It's really sparkly, you guys. Ooh, I can't wait to put gold on there. That's going to be adorable. Alright. There we go. Super, super simple, you guys. Like... using, you know, just following the line of that rainbow. It just made it so easy. There. Alright. Now, I just said I wasn't going to write the damn name on here, but I feel like I have to because otherwise I'm going to use it at some point and somebody's going to ask. Clover. Clover the top. Yeah. And somebody will ask. And then I won't know. And I really do dislike that. Probably as much as the people who ask and I don't know dislike it. Okay, now, got me out the door, got a messy gold foil, I'm sure it's a mess under here, there we go, oh, not too bad, okay, now, <laughs> wish us luck, because we're trying to do very, very small, very small potty gold. Like, I just dabbed that on how in my head you would see, like, a pot of gold s stacked up or whatever you want to call it. Like, this piece is kind of big. Could you get smaller, please, sir? And I can add some more too if I need to. Anyway. Okay. Give that a sec to set up. And then I'll add more to him. Because I do want to kind of like. I want to have it stacked a little on the. On the top. Here we go again with the non-dominant hand troubles. They always troubles. I'm actually just had a thought. I'm a little worried that all this stuff is gonna where my nail is bare. I still have um, Orly Bonder on it, right? And hopefully this doesn't just get all stuck to the Orly Bonder. Because I'm going to end up with a very gold nail. I guess that's okay too. You guys will know what my good intention was even if it doesn't work out. Get on there. Somebody who did it. I think it was nail friend Karin. In Sassy Crew, I asked the gals to post, like, any nail fee or, um, like, and you know, it doesn't have to be color street, it can be painted. Just any nails, they were like, I love that. How would I do that? Oh my god, you guys, look how cute it is. Shh. 
shut up. That is adorable. Um, any nail fee painted, whatever, um, that they liked that I could use during the ruckus. Like, so during the ruckus, um, oh my gosh, that's freaking adorable. I'll do like whatever the nail fee, let's pretend what's on my hands is the nail fee. And I'll take it and then I'll figure out how I would recreate it with Color Street and then create it and then um, somebody like then I random spin the comments that people leave like not just from the live video but like because I do it live in the Facebook group not just from the live video but just comments everybody left after like a week or two and then somebody will win the supplies so that they can recreate it like with what what I used so for example if it was this nail fee then you would win Clover the Top and Starfall and this little punch, you know? Oh, and Gold Foil, of course. Um, anyway. Shit, I had a point, you guys. Oh, Nail Friend Karn posted one using the mermaid overlay and, like, you can overlap them different ways to give, like, super cool effects. Which I've done, I did one of those, oh gosh, way back when that overlay came out. So it's been a while for sure. Um, and when she posted it, then I was thinking, ooh, what if I did it like, oh, I don't even know if I should say it out loud. I feel like I might be held to it. <laughs> but what if I put some foil under it? Oh, shit. See, now I've said it out loud. I ended up with two different ways I wanted to do it. All right, let's talk about it. No, maybe we do it different, both hands differently. <gasps> no, I try not to do that. I try not to do that when I'm, well, okay. So here was my thoughts. Like, use pieces of jelly nails underneath it to make it stained glass. Um, or use bits of foil under it, which I also feel like would kind of give a stained glass look. Okay, you guys fill in your thoughts for me. Now I want to find that picture and show you guys. Hang on. Let me find it. Because Karin shared it. And I know where she shared it. Talk amongst yourselves, please. And Sassy Crew. And. The Inspire Me. And in the comments. Yeah, it was Karn. Okay, see that? And it's just how you flip the mermaid set to double it up. And this one is Classy Claws by Beck. And she just overlaid it. But that's not, like, I wouldn't go this simple of a route. Because that's just not my style. And I definitely wouldn't use all one set because that's also not my style <laughs> and then another one that's gonna be really super good that we gotta try that um nail friend reagan shared and this is designs by desda look how good that is you guys it's so fun and i told her i'll definitely figure it out because i love these but i won't use a color under it i won't use a base color under it i'll just do it as tips more than likely is I'll do some fun slant or something and do a couple of these as accents. This is a lot on every finger, if you're asking me, but it's stunning. So anyway, there, that was that. Okay, now I'm going to OPI. Oh my God, they're really cute, you guys. I kind of want this guy to have more foil though. Like I like how that one's built up a teeny hair. 
So let's fix it real quick before I, oh no, don't spill stuff. See, some of them are huge. And I don't know the best way to go about it. Probably in the summer, I'll go outside and take like my tweezers or scissors or something and like kind of cut stuff up in there a bit. But I'll do it outside so that the foil is not all over everything. I mean, it'll still be all over everything, but at least not indoors. Okay. I don't want that more. I mean, literally, I haven't used anything but what's been stuck to the lid. So if that gives you an idea, you know, how long your foil's gonna last. Oh, so much better already. Okay, and then we'll have to let that dry a sec so I can brush it off. But we can OPI the rest of them. Right now. Okay. Sorry if this was an extra chatty video, you guys. Now that I feel better, I just felt like I needed some interaction. And even if you're not here, I know you guys are still answering. Like, even if it's just in your head. Or if your nail friend Sheila, you're just saying stuff out loud. Like, yeah, girl, you got it. Get a girl. You know, you know how it goes. It really is so good, you guys. And this um, Clover the Top, that is a very sparkly one. The gold is very sparkly. I kind of wanted to use some Pave the Way. Gosh, I love that set. It's very sparkly and also rainbowy. But I didn't have one open, so. And... This is the rules of the game right now. I have to be using stuff up before I restock. Oh my gosh, speaking of restocking, you guys. So A, this time of year in March, we always are working on using up our partials, right? But another thing we do in the Sassy Crew is I make a post Stylists can post any like Yumi Who or whatever they have that they use for selling. Or like uh, Nail Friend Taylor just put, um, wrote all of hers out on a notebook paper, a couple pages, and posted that. Anyway, it's so they can clean stuff out before um, all these new catalogs and releases come, right? And it's always, well, it's super fun for us, the addicts, because we can get, you know, retiring or like mini collections from this year, that, that kind of thing. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, at a super good price, right? I mean, they're anywhere, people have stuff marked anywhere from um, 5 to $10 a set which is great. So anyway, they get to have it posted through the end of the month. Um, oh my God. A lot of us shopped hard today. Let me just say that. It was so fun. It was so fun because you guys, I have decided I am a fan of them taking things off the website like after X amount of days. Um, because then it's like, you get the chance, you use it, you decide if you love it, but it's not there anymore. <laughs> and that's kind of fun. <laughs> so stuff that I found out that I do really like, I got to grab, um, some stuff that was retiring, got to grab some older random sets, you know, not from this year. Oh, it was a good time. It was a good time. Nail friend Marie and I were talking about it. Um, she's like, I didn't need any of that. No. No, none of us needed any of it. But seriously, it's hard to resist. 
I hear you, Jingle Boy. Beefy's like, oh, Mom, why are you still up so early in the morning? Anyway, if you're in Sassy, check it out. Fantastic deals to be had. Helps the stylists, you know, not feel quite so drowning in sets. Because I always feel bad for them when they're drowning in sets. So it's my job to help them undrown a little bit. And that way I actually picked up a few sets of stuff that I wanted to be able to use during the ruckus as... Um, um, sets I would use when I was live and then the people win the sets so it worked out great for me anyway sorry sorry to get so rambly on you guys there we go oh my gourds I love these I love them you guys it's adorable look under my rainbow it's a pot of gold love them have a very great day and St. Patrick's Day. I mean, I know this is still a few days ahead of St. Patrick's Day, but you get the idea. All right. Have a good one, guys.